dropped. Ryan Daniels, 7 News. And of course, Fremantle play their final home and away game on Saturday against St Kilda and Dockers captain Matthew Pavlich joins us now. Evening, Pav. Everyone's talking Essendon. You're the vice president of the Players Association. What's your reaction? Well, my reaction is it's great that it's finally resolved and, you know, we can all move on with footy because I think that's the best part of, of the AFL, the game itself. And I think everyone's learnt a huge amount out of this turmoil, if, for want of a better term. And I think we can all move forward with a great deal of um, success and a great deal of uh, knowledge that from now on there'll be a lot more protocols in place to keep records. Now, earlier today, Pav, you had the chance to hold on to the Premiership Cup, but you declined. What's the story there? Well, I haven't had the opportunity to earn that right as yet, and call me superstitious, but I think from this point on, I'm just willing to actually get there on that Saturday and earn the right to, to hold that cup aloft. But there's a huge amount of work to go yet, so we're not getting ahead of ourselves down here yet, Barrett. Uh, did it get you thinking about the possibility of holding it up on the last Saturday in September? Oh, look, maybe very briefly, but from our perspective, it's negligent actually thinking about those thoughts. We have to stay in the moment and we have to stay uh, in the moment for this Saturday afternoon against the Saints and then the next challenge, but maybe for a very brief moment. <laughs> very good answer. To be the first Fremantle captain to hold it up at the G, though, gee, you'll be part of history. Never be forgotten. It sounds good, but there's plenty of work to go yet. <laughs> You're too good. Thanks, Pab. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks, Barra. Matthew Pavlich. Sam Stoza is out of the US Open, joining Casey Delacqua 